Hello everyone, my name is Kim Warner. This is a video blog and it's a part of Professor Kelly Gorbett's class with Liberty University um, Counseling 500. The topic is social justice. Social justice in counseling is the counselor's desire meeting with an intention to bring change. A counselor who sees within his or her scope and profession the need for advocating or challenging the system's way concerning a client or a group of individuals that have experienced the same circumstances. For instance, driving the streets of Los Angeles eight years ago, I awakened to the fact that there was a need for advocacy for homelessness. I had never seen this before on the East Coast where I had just moved to LA. Um, after um, looking over things, researching, going on the internet, I found some intriguing information. However, I got together with some colleagues of mine and we began to form a 501c3 for homelessness. But it wouldn't stop there. We would find that um, the 501c3 would broaden, and the name of that 501c3 is Interfaith Wealth Builders. It would broaden to um, look at families and children immersed in um, poverty due to the fact that mental health diagnosis or patients diagnosed with mental uh, illness is not so much due to um, biological disorders or biological um, um, circumstances, uh, but moreover due to the impeding factors of stress or unemployment, drug addiction, excessive and um, consistent jail sentencings, uh, relationship fail failures, and economical challenges. Um, hence, what we find is homelessness being, in most cases, the debilitating factor, but not the issue concerning the group. For this reason, the 501c3 Interfaith Wealth Builders has collaborated with communities, uh, leaders and uh, business owners that can help bring change for the betterment of our families in our communities and lessen the impact of mental health illnesses. Um, I'm reminded of Luke 4 and 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Um, uh, he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those that have been bruised. My golden rule for every day is to be a game changer, remembering at all times to submit uh, to the life force within me because its number one desire is to serve humanity. Thank you so much. And have a wonderful day.